Hello, everybody. My name is Daryl. Ah. And I love to shop at the Goodwill Outlet bins. Yes, indeed. And this is a very special edition. Can you tell? <laughs> Actually, I got this dress yesterday. And, oh, boy, Tara's are hard work. And um, I just thought it was the perfect princess dress. So I needed to accessorize accordingly. This is from ASOS. Isn't it just the perfect princess dress? Okay, enough. <laughs> I'll give you the close-ups here. Check that out. Isn't that pretty? Ooh, this thing hurts. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know if I ever have, if we'll have a place to wear this, um, but I just think it's wonderful. I actually found the dress online. It's like $220. It's from ASOS Design, their higher end um, thing. But I just, boy, it ticks all the boxes for me. It's just so pretty. <laughs> okay. Let's get looking at what else I got, okay? Again, I spent like 50 bucks. Seems to be my normal. And um, great haul this time. Really good stuff that I'm just really happy with. And I'll show you my shoes too. Let's do that right now, okay? Since I've got a pair on. These are like brand new Zara. And I thought they were the perfect accompaniment to my dress. <laughs> and I got these they are hokas and I am unsure of what the uh, the style is they're the one one um, but I'm not sure beyond that um, I've worn them already uh, for my workout today they were great and um, the comps on these it really depends on what the what the style is, but they run between a hundred and two hundred fifty dollars. Another pair that I just love. I went to the bins early, so I went at eight in the morning, and um, I question my sanity at times doing that. Um, but these are Nine West, and I love the the platform and the nude suede upper here and then this is all velvet. I am collecting silk pillowcases. <laughs> the day I found out that they cost a hundred dollars I thought I needed to have a bunch. <laughs> this is new with tags and it's the outer piece of um, a J. Crew top. So I'm gonna keep the the liner because <laughs> I like it but I just don't Animal prints just don't do it for me. I love them to look at, but I don't like them on me. Um, this is also too big, and so it's too big in the shoulders, and it's just not a very happy fit. As you can see, it's new with tags. Okay, this is a super cute wrap dress. I don't know the brand, and um, it is um, a size extra large and so I've like got it completely wrapped around me um and you know what I think it works just fine I mean a wrap dress is is you know will fit unless uh unless it's too small and then it doesn't wrap enough but uh ignoring the garments underneath here I love this uh this back it's a nice open back and I love this A-line shape and this halter top. Actually, just really think it is cute. Um, I'm going to try it with this hat, so pardon me for a minute. I don't know if it will work. So I honestly don't even know if people are wearing these hats anymore, to tell you the truth. I was looking at it and thinking, are they a thing? Are they? <laughs> so 
I love that one. Um, it has no brand either. <laughs> I'm brandless today. Now this is an old school um, jean jacket. Boy, I'm flopping my hair around because it's getting hot already here with my ring light. Um, <laughs> so it's got more of a curvy cut to it and a longer shape, which I thought looked kind of a little newer now. You know that we've been seeing all the cropped denim for so long that and, and or oversized. I thought it's kind of like a shacket, but in kind of a prettier way. So I picked it up and I do like it. I, I like that um, it looks a little bit newer and fresher. So this is from Nordstrom and I'm really not sure what the uh, era is for it. This dress is from Ecote, which is carried usually at Urban Outfitters, I believe. Anyway, I just love how easy and swirly and beachy they are. They're so easy to put on. Um, just whether you want to dress them up or, or be casual, it's just super easy to do. So I'm gonna, I've got it dressed casually and I'm going to put this, um, this uh, bucket hat on. This is from Abacus. Abacus. Anyway, uh, the information will be in the, uh, in the video description. <laughs> but let's see how this goes. I'm hoping it's picking up the orange in the bottom. I need like a swingy beach toad or something. Anyway, this is the hat. And it's um, reversible. Let's see. And the, what I like about it is it isn't made out of that stiff duck material. It's a, it's a knit, like a t-shirt, only it's got plenty of reinforcement here through the brim. And um, so here it is in the purple color. I'm not sure about the orange peeking through on this side. I wonder if you could do something to eliminate that a bit. I don't think so. So I guess you just need, um, if you're gonna be really particular, an orange and lavender outfit. I don't think I have any of those. <laughs> Is there no, lav no lavender in here in the dress either? Still, it's kind of cute. <laughs> okay. Now, I almost didn't grab this um, kimono. Um, again, they're a piece that I am not sure that we're seeing a lot of them right now. So I have to say I grabbed it because I thought it was beautiful. Um, and it has uh, this great big slit right here and just a lovely um, bit of drapiness. And this, this uh, burnout velvet is just gorgeous, don't you think? And so here's the deal. <laughs> I really didn't plan that it would match these plissé um, crop pants. And I'll uh, show you these. Now, never in a million years would I have uh, paired this cami up with this, but I wanted something really uh, bare underneath the um, kimono. And um, this is the cami that goes with the J. Crew top that I showed you. I'm gonna keep this. <laughs> um, but I really don't like this color with this. I think it's very, really um, a fall look. Um, I think for summer I'd wear something a little bit lighter toned underneath here. And uh, maybe even uh, a pale pink would look better. But that said, all good pieces um, and these things work so well um, on vacation because they make good uh, cover-ups over your swimsuit, um, they work over a slip dress, they are a 
all round a piece that just works when you um, have limited room in your suitcase. Such a sad thing. <laughs> so I just wanted to toss this on since I had the, um, what I thought was a great color with this pink. This is a t-shirt from Gap. I got two of them this trip. I just love the, I like them. I like to buy them in all sizes. They are comfortable. I think they look good all the time. They've got a nice bit of, of hem there that you can just do a half tuck with. But this is the other one. It's a bit more of a slubby um, uh, fabrication and it goes great with this bucket hat. You think? <laughs> I think this would be so cute with, I have some white pants and then maybe I'll put this all on together and see how that looks. It looks pretty good, I think. This has got a big loose fit and a nice long length. It comes down to about here. Um, I like it with the hat and I like it with the white pants. I wish the pants had pockets, but they don't. Um, I am not really sure what these are. They may be like, um, um, I know they're not karate pants, um, but they maybe actually have a commercial um, purpose. However, I love how slouchy they are through here and then they taper in a bit toward the ankle. And for me, these are the perfect summer white pants. I just absolutely love them. And I've seen a number um, of pants, especially from free people that are pretty much the same style. So uh, they have a drawstring waist and elastic. And um, I'll probably pair a few more things up with them. Not sure about this, but we'll try it. That's what this all is. This is all about having fun and mixing and matching and putting things together that, heck, yeah, sometimes they're gonna work, sometimes they don't. And especially when it's only like 30 odd pieces that you got at the bins for $1.99 a pound. <laughs> so this is a stretchy t-shirt. This is from uh, Tafari. And again, my fisherman white pants. And then this beautiful handbag is from Coach. It is authentic and it is in excellent condition. Um, there's small amount of fraying um, here in the handles that will be super easy to fix. So it's a satchel and uh, can be worn easily as a crossbody bag. <laughs> I actually kind of like it hanging, hanging down more. Like that. This picture. <laughs> All right, here the my white my friends the white pants, <laughs> and the sweater is brand new. It I swear it still had the the uh, fold up creases from J Crew. It's one hundred percent cashmere, absolutely perfect and beautiful. And I've paired them up with these Hoka shoes. Um, I don't know that you can see them that well. There you go. So I know you're getting sick of these white pants. <laughs> I have black pants, I have white pants. <laughs> and uh, no denim this trip. So um, this easy, easy, lightweight top is from Holding Horses, which is um, an anthropology brand. And I love everything about it except the fact that it needs to be ironed. <laughs> I just wanted to show you this piece here. This is the holding horses top and then these are um, old navy linen shorts and I just they are my go-to shorts. I love them all the time. Uh, they don't wrinkle super easily and uh, just comfy and pretty good looking. So this is just an easy, casual outfit. Shoot, you could probably sleep in this. It is so soft and comfortable. Um, these are a loose jogger pant. 
um, and they're from the sustainable brand Pact, which I really like all of their stuff. Um, these have a smocked waist and pockets. And then this shirt is a beautiful fabrication. It's a, a spandex, uh, viscose probably, um, and the brand is Amaryllis. And it has a very generous fit here, as you can see. Now, I think that this is really dated looking. And so it's like with some of these older t-shirts, they're just super cute to, to tuck in, do a half tuck. Or, you know, if you're so inclined, you can do this, um, turn it into a crop top look. Well, I guess it works. So what you want is just a sliver of skin showing right here. Okay, here we have the coach bag again. And the packed soft cotton pants. And I paired it up with this 100% cotton shirt that is from Zara. And it's an oversized fit. And I'm gonna show you a kind of a cool detail. I'm not quite sure um, what it's all about, but watch this. <laughs> this has a band that goes across here. And I think it's supposed to be worn like that. But I also got to thinking that maybe it's supposed to be worn like that. Okay, so, and I think it's cute, but it doesn't cover up very much. So, I mean, <laughs> it's a flashing moment just waiting to happen. <laughs> but I do think it's uh, super, super cute. Um, I really prefer it kind of out and I would like to wear it maybe with a pair of linen shorts and all would be good. These are a pair of pink straight leg tight <laughs> jeans from Mother and I picked them up because I thought I would um, just send them right over to the thrift shop but I thought just for the heck of it that I would try them on and surprise, surprise, they do fit. Um, not well enough that I would wear them anywhere, I don't think, um, but they're a size 28. I'm trying to get my foot into the shoe. <laughs> One thing about plastic shoes, boy. <laughs> anyway, um, there's a little bit of fading going on right through here. I don't know if you can see it, but um, and then here's the lovely M back pocket. I love mother jeans, but they don't love me. <laughs> um, although I, I, they should love me if they're this size and I can get them on. <laughs> um, the shirt is a linen blend and it's from Tori Richards. Okay. Just, just a piece that is easy to dress up or down. Um, I like it with a... <laughs> okay. I like it with a casual sandal. <laughs> As I try and kill myself. couple pieces I just want to give you a uh, give you the skinny <laughs> speaking of which uh, this is Spanx I think this is the higher power one I probably don't need to keep picking these things up but I don't know <laughs> couple more cashmere's that are in absolutely beautiful shape this one is brand new um, the brand is uh, Paolo Mondo and it's a men's cashmere and it will go directly to hubby. <laughs> and again, this one is brand new as well. I don't think it's ever been worn. This is from Land's End. Their cashmere is beautiful. One other piece, and I will probably donate this to 
um, my thrift shop at my church. This is from Lafayette 148. And um, it's a wrap top, but you can also wear this, um, which this is gonna look pretty hideous, but I, I want you to see where I'm going with it. <laughs> I should have done this with, with it, maybe a different piece, but so there is this option as well. Um, the fabric is beautiful and just what you would expect for a piece that was probably $250. Now, I haven't run comps, but uh, Lafayette 148 is quite pricey. I almost didn't grab this shirt and I am so glad I did. It's from Caché and my guess it's probably from the late 80s possibly. Um, I don't think it ever had shoulder pads in it. And it is just this beautiful plissé um, fabric, which I love. Um, and then it has an embroidered um, front panel here. And so I just think it looks so modern and new and um, really, really glad I grabbed it. I can just envision dressing this up with destroyed denim and, and letting it, you know, be pretty against the, the denim. Um, but I can also see wearing it dressed up with something. Um, the uh, pants are from Forever 21, and I just love this silhouette. Um, these are 100% cotton, and they're just a straight leg or a wide leg maybe. And they are not overly long, but they're not cropped either. So I think they work well with with heels, or they work well with flip flops, um, and you can cuff them up as well. These I was so excited about. They are from Zara. They're a parachute pant. They've got a toggle drawstring waist, and. Um, wide legs that you can also toggle shut and um you know i'm seeing these all over the place and i want some i want some <laughs> but these are too big and i need them to be about two sizes smaller um you know there's one thing to be big and baggy and then there's really just too darn baggy so that's where these landed <laughs> You wouldn't believe that this cute, cute shirt is from Shein. I do have to say that, um, that it's from their higher end brand motif and I um, think it's pretty cute. Um, it does feel really, really good. Um, it's well put together and I love the black and white. So it's just cute, easy top for daytime. This cami slash bra top here is from a brand called Kindred Bravely. <laughs> That's all I know. I love this top. <laughs> this is linen and it's from Zara again. Got a lot of Zara pieces yesterday. And I thought the hat was a good match. Okay. Now, try this shirt in with a half tuck because I'm pretty, looking pretty billowy. <laughs> can't tell how this looks. It's far away. <laughs> Maybe with the belt. It looked like the Sundance catalog, <laughs> which isn't bad. I love this velvet blouse. This is from Lafayette 148. And um, it's a uh, silk velvet 
and I love these ribbed sleeves. I think they, they make the, um, the velvet a little less dressy, a little less old school. Um, anyway, it's a, a longer piece and uh, it has a quarter um, button close. And um, yeah, very, very happy to get this. I was happy to get it, but I was also very happy that that I think it's a nice fit and I think it's a beautiful color. So one more piece, you guys. So I take it back, you guys. I have one more piece after this. Um, this is from Everlane and it's just a classic white cotton blouse, co um, white cotton blouse. <laughs> and uh, button up and love everything about it. Of course, you can do a million things with it style-wise. So this gorgeous silk dress is um, from a brand that I've not heard of. It's called Rutzou, R-U-T-Z-O-U. And it is um, meant to be a loose, easy dress for a small person, <laughs> which I'm not, <laughs> but I think it's cute. I do think there's still plenty of movement in here um, so that it has that easy, loose vibe, and I love this ruffle. I don't know what this does, why it's longer than the other one, but I like it. I think it's amusing. <laughs> and uh, it's snug through the, through the arms because it's a size 34, which I think is, well, itty bitty. <laughs> uh, that's all I got, you guys. And... Uh, Gotta thank you so much for watching. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, I would be in forever, forever in your debt. Well, kind of. <laughs> I love doing these things and, and I'd love to keep doing them. Um, so uh, come along with me. And uh, again, thank you so much. I appreciate your watching. Bye.